So in the first video we have seen that indexing can be applied on any key. Like indexing can be applied on a primary key or a candidate key or a non-key. And we also know that data file can be organized in two fashions. Ordered file organization and unordered file organization. So in primary indexing, we will apply index on primary key. And also the data file must be in ordered fashion. So now let's take a data file which consists of employee records. So now let's consider, I mean, now let's construct a primary index for this employee records. So what is primary index? So primary index is also like a regular index which consists of two fields like key and block pointer. But here the key must be refers to the primary key and also the data file must be in ordered fashion. So now I want to create an index for this employee records. So how do we create an index? So like as I told like it should be referred to the primary key that is what employee number field. And one more thing is like here in primary indexing it is sparse index. So what exactly does sparse index mean? The sparse index mean will create index only for few records, not for all the records. So how to choose how to choose those few records here? So these are called anchor blocks. Anchor blocks means sorry, these are called anchor records. And also you can call and also you can call them as block anchors. So block anchor means the first record in every block. First record in every block. So here the record number 1 from block 1 is the block anchor. Same way the 4 and 7 are block anchors for block B2 and block B3. So now in primary indexing, we will create index only for these records. It means we will create index only for the first record of every block. So let's see here. Here from block, here from block 1, the block anchor is 1. From block 2, we have 4. From block 3, we have 7. So the first one points to the block number 1, block pointer. Same way, the second one points to block 2, third one points to block 3. So here what can we conclude? So here we can conclude that the number of records in index file is equal to the number of blocks. See here, here we have 3 blocks. So here we have 3 records. So the number of records in index file is equal to number of blocks from data file. So we have constructed an index sure. on primary key and also ordered file. And the other point is, let's assume we have bi number of blocks in index file. So the average number of block accesses will be how much? So as I told like, index will be ordered always so it will take log bi base 2 this is what average number of block access to access a record so here the time log bi base 2 will be for this index file but after getting the record we have to go to the block and we have to access the record right so it will take one more block access it will be plus one so log ba base 2 plus 1 is the average number of block access to access a record in primary indexing. Thank you.